Oh my god. <laughs> There's no freaking way. There's no way. Golden random receiver. Shiny at a free release. I got no It took me almost 50 packs to pull a single ultra rare, and now after that, I've got a shiny. Oh my gosh. It took me five pre-releases to pull an EX, and now the pre-release after that one, I pull a shiny. That's insanity. Oh, baby. Nice. Good. Oh. Oh, they changed the format of the reverse for trainers. Interesting. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe it. Oh my Oh, they put bicycle in there. No. That's all right. Oh, nice. So did uh, she. Oh, still shaking. Lots of normal rares. A lot of these cards that these guys are going to get are valuable. So if you guys can put them in sleeves and play with sleeves, you're going to uh, protect the cards, right? They're $4 for a pack of 50. Nice. Ooh. Very cool. And shout out to Joey Hollow Togekiss. Nice. What's up, guys? Shiny Inter Zach here, and I'm back from my first Plasma Storm pre release. Um, pretty interesting, I have to say. We ended up doing four rounds. And I ended up going 3-1, and one. I was 3-0, and oh, and then I played the only other person who was 3-0 and oh and lost, so I came in second in the tournament. Pretty uh, nice, actually, I did pretty well. Um, it was supposed to be at a comic shop, but there was also a magic tournament going on, so they moved us across the street over to a Shoney's, which is a type of chain restaurant, and we played there. And as you saw, I got a pretty nice pull which I'll show you in a minute, but I do want to show you everything else that I got. Um, and let's just get to it. I have a pretty good amount to show you guys. I guess I'll start with the code cards. Uh, as I showed you before, that's what they look like. I got six of them so far. I haven't opened my two packs yet. I was going to do that right here for you guys. But that's what they look like. I will be keeping these and using them for the online game. And I also got an empty Plasma Storm box. Looks really cool. There's the Infernape and the Lugia. And then on the side we have Lipard and Articuno. And then here's the back of it. You can pause and read that if you want to. I will be incorporating this into my background at some point. But let me go ahead and tell you about my deck. My deck was really simple. And what it centered around was this card right here. 
Heatmore, which is an uncommon card, 90 HP. It's first attack, Luring Flame. Uh, it just costs a fire energy, and it says switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with the defending Pokemon. The new defending Pokemon is now burned. But the main focus of this deck is its second attack, Fiery Licks. It costs three fire energy to pull off, but it says discard the top four cards of your deck. This attack does 50 damage times the number of fire energy you discarded. So my deck was one heat more and 39 fire energy, and I came in second with that deck. So basically, it's centered around, you start with heat more, you maybe use Luring Flame once or twice while you're setting it up with fire energy, and then you just start using Fire Licks to basically take out any Pokemon. So that was pretty cool. Some of the other cards I got that are notable, I got a Reverse Bicycle, which uh, says draw cards until you have four in your hand. Let's see, got a Braviary Rare, got a Reverse Bear Tick. I didn't know this, but with the Plasma Pokemon, they used the Reverse type that, wa that existed before Emerging Powers, so Black and White back, they had this uh, sort of flat... Reverse, which I like a lot. They use this for the plasma cards, but they kept it normal, like for the bicycle, with the Pokeballs and stuff on it. I also got a Togekiss Hollow. I didn't get a Togetic, so I couldn't play it, and I didn't really want to. There's its ability if you want to look at that. Uh, it doesn't really have that good an attack, but oh well. I did get a Reverse Hypnotic Laser, which was very nice. So I don't have to go out and trade for that, which this card is going to be very good in the upcoming format. Got a Sharpedo Rare, Snorlax Rare, got a Reverse Riolu, if that'll focus. There's two Riolus in this set. This is the better one of the two. Got a Lotad Reverse, got a Dodrio Reverse, and here's a Cherim Rare. But the main card that was so amazing to pull, this has never happened to me at a pre-release, Got a shiny. Granted, it is debatably the worst uh, out of the three, because uh, the other two are Charizard and Blastoise, but that's still amazing to pull a golden random receiver out of six random packs. Really, really nice looking. I'll put that in the background for now, anyway. There we go. And here's some of the other cards I got. Uh, some of the trainers. We got Escape Rope... We got Colrus Machine, which helps you search out a Plasma Energy, which I have right here. I pulled one of those. Got a Team Plasma Grunt, which could be a pretty good supporter. You discard a Team Plasma card and then draw four cards. I got a regular Hypnotic Laser. And a Colrus, which is also going to be very good. Pretty darn good, anyway. And then some other random common and uncommon cards as well, which aren't really important. But now I think let's get on to showing off the uh, box that you get, the deck box, the pre-release box that you get. Here's Lugia, and then the pre-release symbol. There's Infernape, Lipard, Articuno on the back, it says Plasma Storm at the top, and then on the bottom it's just this um, stuff right here. But what's inside it is very nice. I have two packs that I haven't opened yet. I have an Infernape and a Lipard, and then here's the promo card. It is Crobat. Very nice looking card. Very nice looking hollow. And it's actually a very playable card. Night Slash, or Night Sight. Once during your turn before you attack, you may draw a card. And then Ultra Toxic Fang for a Psychic and a Double Colorless. It does 40. And the defending Pokemon is now poisoned. Put four damage counters instead of one on that Pokemon between turns. So uh, I think at minimum it should do 80 on the first turn, which is very, very good. And now I guess we can just go ahead and open the two packs that I got. Really hoping for some kind of EX. I did see people pull multiple EXs. I saw somebody pull two EXs and an A spec. And let's see if I can have similar luck. So we have a Litwick, Clefairy, Cherubi, Clink, Zubat, Watchog. Grottle, and Galvantula. There's been quite a few uh, Galvantulas in the black and white sets. My reverse is a Heatmore. That would have been nice for the tournament, so I could have had two. But that is an uncommon. Very cool. And my rare is a Lucario Hollow. 
So I did get a hollow, very nice. Ability dual armor, if this Pokemon has any metal energy attached to it, this Pokemon's type is both fighting and metal. And Hurricane Kick for a fighting and a double colorless, it does 60, and then plus 30 for each prize card your opponent has taken, so interesting. Let's open this second pack now, with Infernape on it. I do plan to go to the pre-release next weekend. I believe it's on February 3rd. So be looking out for a video then. One, two, three, one, two. And we have a Scraggy, Trubbish, Patrat, Frillish, Rufflet, Colrus, nice pull, Clang, and Simiseer. My reverse is an Infernape. Oh, very, very nice pull. And there's that um, reverse type I was telling you about. Just the flat holographic stuff there for the Plasma Pokemon. Torment, choose one of the defending Pokemon's attacks. That Pokemon can't use that attack during your opponent's next turn, and it does 30. Malevolent Fire, for a Fire and a Colorless, it does 120. Discard all energy attached to this Pokemon, so that's actually not bad. And my rare is a Clefable. So normal rare... I did get a fair amount of normal rares um, in my actual pre-release packs. I only got one hollow and then the golden random receiver. But otherwise, pretty cool um, pre-release. Very nice people there. Nobody really had any trade stuff there with them, but that's okay. Hopefully people at the next pre-release will. But that is going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like and favorite the video and leave a comment below. Go check out my main channel, Shiny Enter Zack, my Pokemon community channel, Poke Capital, and my LP channel, Circle Cat Zack. And until next time, I will see you guys later.